Okay, so now the time has come to actually uh, put the property on the market for rent and start the showing process. So what will we need is a set of keys to for showing. So agents will have keys to access the property for showings. We'll also need from you a showing schedule of when the property can be viewed. Now, if it's an owner-occupied property, I, I recommend to make it as available for showings as possible. Maybe a couple hours advance notice. The more available you make the apartment, for people to come into it, the faster it will rent in the market and probably for the highest price. When a property enters the market, the largest pool of potential tenants is looking at that period of time. So you want to capture that audience early on, especially in the first week or two of it being available for rent in the market. If the property is occupied by a tenant currently, we normally give them one day advance notice of a showing. So we're going to want to speak with your tenant in advance of putting the property on the market to set up some sort of showing schedule of generally when the property can be viewed. Now, a lot of people work from home now. Um, so I'm seeing some tenants say during the day is not that good. Or it's not good at these times. But generally speaking, I would work with your tenant on coming up with a reasonable showing schedule. Generally speaking, most of the showings are going to take place in the late afternoon, or early evening, Monday to Friday and on the weekends. Weekends being more popular because everyone's off usually. Um, so the showing schedule is important. When the property goes on the market, we'll need a set of keys to put in the lockbox. What to expect moving forward is when agents show the property, what happens is we usually reach out to them for feedback that evening or the next day to see what their customer thought of the property. Do they have any questions? Are they interested in submitting an application, um, et cetera? Any feedback regarding the price? Um, and we will pass that feedback then along to you as the landlord. So you see what's going on. You see what the public is thinking um, when they're going through the whole process. Um, so what's going to happen is as days on the market starts to increase and you get, you know, into like three weeks, four weeks on the market and that the property is still not rented. Um, and if the move-in date is in a relatively reasonable period of time, it's not like six months out, more than likely the market is saying that they're not supporting the price that they're asking or there's some other factor which can be reflected in the feedback. Um, so if the feedback says the price is over is, is too high, we're going to reevaluate the price and look at the see what has recently rented. We'll go back to those comps, those comparable rentals, see what is rented in the market, see what your competition is in the market. Maybe you you rent in a big building, a high rise, uh, you own a high rise, and there's a bunch of other rental apartments that are in the market that are very similar to yours at a lower price. So the price might have to be um, uh, readdressed to see if it needs to be reduced in the market so that it's positioned more attractively to renters. Um, also, it could be that the feedback says that maybe the property isn't showing well or um, it, it's cluttered. And that could be sometimes with a tenant occupied property, we get feedback like that where maybe you have to talk to your tenant regarding having it neatened up a little bit for showings. Um, but these are all things that are reflected in the feedback, which we will pass along to you um, after the showings take place. Um, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. Um, as the process moves along and you do receive an application uh, from a potential tenant, I will discuss the process for that in the next video. If you have any questions, I can be reached at 347-448-3766 or walter at livingonthehudson.com. Thank you.